Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back along to another mod review here with me, Simulation for the Nation. And today it is a mod that I find is absolutely fantastic. It is the Keenan Mech Fiber 365x4D modding. Uh, unfortunately, due to licensing, um, Giants cannot host this on console, so it will be PC only, available to download. Uh, from Facebook, on 4D Modern's Facebook page right now, the link will be in the description below. Eventually though, it should hopefully be coming live to the Mod Hub all being well. Now, having spoken uh, on many occasions with Mr. 4D Modern himself, uh, I know that this has been very painstaking, there's an awful lot of work gone into this, um, and an awful lot of hours as well, and it, to be honest, the results do show this, it is brilliant. Uh, we have been in need for another diet feeder for quite some time. The Keenan diet feeder is something that is very well known to a lot of the UK uh, players here. Um, but yeah, it is quite something. What we're going to do, we're just going to uh, have a bit of a wander around at first, then we'll hook it up to our uh, tractor and we're going to get some bales in there as well to see how it all works. Uh, as you can see though, for the first time we were able to open the front up here. We've got a beautiful big chain going around the, um, the kind of main drive wheel really. Uh, Great level of detail on the inside there, really does look fantastic on that side aspect. Uh, coming around the back as well, let's just climb up here. We've got some pretty mean looking uh, mints and teeth inside there. Uh, this is a bale chute here which we have added on. There are two different configurations, one for this chute on the side and the other one for the bale handling kind of guard on the top there. Uh, and we'll show you that in the store as well. Uh, let's get it all hooked up to this here fent. And we'll just show you how it looks in terms of configurable options. Um, so to start with, you can fold and unfold the chute on the top, like uh, extra configuration like I mentioned. Uh, and then if we uh, fold in the two doors here, you'll see they fold in as we look from inside the cab. You've got a little weigh scale there, which is going to show us how much weight we have on board, which I think is very cool. Uh, now what we're going to do is just kind of position ourselves in a little bit more of a friendly angle. Let's do a bit of that. That's better. And then let's power it up and see how it sounds. It takes a minimum horsepower requirement of 105 horse. Uh, as you can see there, the engine on the tractor revs up, which I really do like that. Uh, and then we got these great animation inside there as well. Oh wow, look at the... Look at each of those guards moving, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. That's really good. Okay, we've got to run over. Throw a couple of bales in. So there are going to be quite a few different options for feeders coming very shortly, what with the arrival of the DLC at the end of the month there, it's going to mean that we have a whole host of new features, new options for bale handling. Uh, this is something I've been looking forward to. Now CD Models, um, the former company of 4D Modern, did produce a Keenan feeder for the 17, that was a very well made uh, favourite of uh, the FS17 community, and this is going to be the exact same, I have no doubt about it. Looks brilliant. Really going to be at home on some of the English uh, British style mod maps that are coming along. That is without doubt. So I'm going to tip these two in here as well. Off we go. I just think it looks absolutely stunning. What I'm going to do as well, we've got a PTO shaft spinning there. Let's, uh, let's open this back up. Man, that looks impressive. Let's just uh, spin it like that so we can see inside it a little bit more. So right now we should see that our scales are showing some weight on there. We've got 16,000 litres, which is four times uh, 4,000 per round bale, obviously. Um, no. Health and safety notes, don't do this in real life. Whatever you do. So you can see the chain is going round the big wheel. Uh, back round through this mechanism here, and you can see it's powering the auger on the far on the on this side here, which will be used to distribute the uh, feed coming out of the chute. 
I really like that. That is stunning. Really, 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 really nice. Alright, so let's just get in and do that. I think before that shoot down, so it makes it a little lower in height just to get straight under the uh, straight under any cattle shed. And now, all being well, we haven't got a cattle shed here to load it into. But we'll just turn around. Okay, so we just bought an extra little bit of land, so we'll just jump over here. The animation inside there is really quite something. And we'll just go to here and unload here. So there is our load and shoot coming out, looking nice and shiny. Allowing us just to kind of tip the feed into the trough as we go along there. Nice fill play inside, so you can see it's kind of lower and down at the front first. That's really good. And also, you can see that the f the weight gauge there is reducing down as well, which is pretty darn cool. So overall, another fantastic looking mod in my um, in my mind. Something's really going to add a lot to my gameplay, that's for sure. And um, no doubt we'll be integrating this across some of the different game saves that we have going. Uh, finally, let's have a quick look at it in the store here. Go into animals and across uh, Keenan. Um, without any of the additional features there, we're coming in around 43,000. Uh, you can change the tire configuration. As we go into the design, we add the feed chute uh, and then we add the bale uh, handler on the top. Uh, brings up to 48,000 there, so a little bit more, but ultimately I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, and as 4D always does, it makes a few configurable um, number plates, which is always good, so you can make sure it suits your map. Uh, but that is it for now. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed. I have been Simulation for the Nation. All the links for the uh, download for this uh, mod are available in the description below. Do make sure you use the original link from 4D Modern's Facebook page, and we'll uh, keep an eye out for when it is launched on the mod hub. Like I say, if it does make it onto the mod hub, it will be PC only, unfortunately, um, due to licensing reasons. But hopefully one day that may change. Uh, for now, though, we'll leave it here. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Simulation for the Nation. And we will see you in the next one.